go to the second component, second group of components, which is lipids or fat. It's the same lipid, but sometimes they call it fat, and other times they call it oils. What is the difference? When do you call a lipid fat? When do you call it oil? Fat là mỡ đó. Khi nào gọi là mỡ? Khi nào gọi là dầu? Hmm? When the lipid is solid at room temperature, then you call it fat. When it's liquid at room temperature, then you call it oil. Okay. Right. And fat or lipid is actually mainly from triglyceride. This is triglyceride. Triglyceride is fat. Neutral fat. It's called neutral fat. Neutral triglyceride. Trung tính. Okay. One triglyceride has one glycerol and esterified with three fatty acid. This is three fatty acid. So a triglyceride had the same structure. One glycerol, three fatty acid, all the time the same. But they are different in Fa composition. What is Fa composition? Fatty acid composition. They are different in this one. Okay. Either the fatty acids are longer or shorter. Either the fatty acid have double bond, more double bond, less double bond, or no double bond. Okay. So in the past, when we talk about fat or lipid, we talk about the amount. It's important. How much fat do you intake is important. But nowadays, it's not the amount, but the fatty acid composition is more important. What are the fatty acids here is more important than the total amount? Because the fatty acids determine melting point of the fat, determine the segment, weakness, the melting point of the fat, the temperature where the fat melts from solid into liquid. So for example, if you have saturated fatty acids, saturated means no or with double bonds, saturated la bảo hòa, means no double bond, no double bond, then higher or lower melting point, higher melting point, higher melting point, then let's it should be solid. It should be solid, then you call it what? More like fat. Okay? If the fatty acids have more double bond, then they are unsaturated. When they are unsaturated, then they tend to be liquid. You call them oils. Okay? Right. And second reason why fatty acids is important because it's determining the potential for oxidation. The capacity that the fat will get oxidized, the lipids will get oxidized. Which one is more high? Which one have higher potential to be oxidized? The saturated or the unsaturated? Unsaturated. Unsaturated fatty acids are not stable and more sensitive to oxidation. Okay, sensitive là nhạy, dễ bị. Sensitive to oxidation or prone to oxidation. And fatty acids composition to a degree also determine nutritional value of the fat, of the lipids. Nutritional value. Nowadays, the nutritionists advise you to have less or more saturated fat. Less. You should replace saturated fat by unsaturated fat. Because now we abuse this, means we have too much. We have more than enough saturated fat, so we increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, CVD. You have more saturated fat, you increase the risk or the chance that you will have cardiovascular disease, like stroke. But if you replace this saturated fat, you use unsaturated one, then you actually reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. So fatty acid composition is very important. Fat or triglyceride and water, do they play together? Do they love each other? No. Okay. So now, for example, this is your blood vessel. What is blood vessel? Mặt máu. Okay. And then, if you eat saturated fat, saturated means solid or liquid? More solid or more liquid? More solid. Okay. And then when your blood carry the fat, because the fat now is quite solid, okay? And because the blood 
exactly blood. The main component of blood is is what? It's water. Fat do not love water. So here, when the fat come here, and it find that this place is easier to play with. Okay, so we stick somewhere here, together with cholesterol and so on. And then the blood pressure is build up some deposit here, and then time to time the blood pressure become narrower and narrower, and then the blood cannot be pump. If this blood, the pumping of the blood to the brain is blocked, then you have the the stroke. And this is if you have liquid fat or unsaturated fat. Which are actually what liquid at your temperature. Now the liquid come here. When the water come, the water cannot corrode. Corrode là gì? Ăn mòn á, ăn mòn cái deposit này. But the fat, when the liquid fat come here, the liquid fat can actually corrode and remove the solid fat. Water cannot do that because fat hates water. But now the unsaturated fat can do that because they love each other. So the unsaturated fat can remove the deposit on your vessel and actually it's, it's clean up the vessel. So when you have more unsaturated fat, you reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. When you have more saturated, you actually increase the risk. And nowadays we have more than enough the saturated so back better to ship more unsaturated one okay now we go back here the major triglyceride in beef fat is three stearine remember beef fat the major one the main triglyceride in beef fat is three stearine three stearine mean one glycerone with three stearic acid Stearic acid has 18 carbon atoms, but no double bond. No double bond means saturated, means solid. So the fat from cow, the beef fat, is quite solid at room temperature because it's saturated. Okay, this table is nice because it's key. We just review what we have been just talking. Fatty acids composition of fast and oils of some material of some products here you have lamb beef pork chicken salmon corn oil corn oil mean the lipids from plants okay and the other from animals the lipids from salmon you call it fat or oil oil still oil this one oil but here you already call, call them fat but they're quite solid from the left to the right you have less and less what saturated fatty acids okay less and less but you have more and more more and more what unsaturated fatty acids the one contain double bonds more unsaturated means it becomes softer and this side harder you go from the left to the right the lipids become softer and softer here like solid here like liquid at room temperature okay which one which side is more sensitive to oxidation here is more sensitive to oxidation become more double bonds more unsaturated which side is better in terms of nutrition the right or the left the right side so now we should switch from the left side to the right side because we eat too much meat from animals on the land Animal on the lands normally have saturated fat. You eat them a lot. You have more than enough. Now you ship to eating something on the, in the water, in the sea, or plants, lipids, then more unsaturated. Which one are needed for human nutrition? Saturated or unsaturated? Both. Okay. Everything occurs in life is good. It's only not good because we abuse. We we have too much of this. We have less Japanese people. Some people say that the Japanese people have a long life, live for a long time because they they eat more marine fish. You know marine fish, the sea fish, which have 
more unsaturated fats instead of eating animals on land. So they live longer time. They have less cardiovascular diseases. Why the animal on land normally have more saturated fat than the animal underwater? The temperature in the land is normally higher than the temperature underwater. Okay? When the animal live underwater, for example, the fish living in water, the fat in the body should be liquid at this low temperature. For the moving in the body, the fat should not be crystalline. Should still be low, liquid, and for the metabolism, everything should be still liquid. So when it's liquid at low temperature, means that it is more unsaturated. But the animal on the land living at higher temperature, okay, at higher temperature, the melting point is higher with more saturated. Okay, so now you go home. Uh, you uh, you graduate from the university and you work for the first month. You earn some money, and you give your parent advice. No, uh, daddy and mommy. Now you are at high age already, so you better eat more fish than meat from animals on land. So you better eat dark catfish. Is that okay advice? Is dark catfish is uh, is okay? With the lipids profile of dark fish is unsaturated or more saturated. Actually, dark fish is if you put in this table, there are somewhere here. The fat of dark fish is even more saturated than the fat of chicken. If you put a dark fish in the fridge, it's become very hot because the fat crystallizes, become hard. Liquid become solid. But if you put a salmon fish in the fridge, the fish still soft because the fat of salmon is not crystallized in the fridge means it's still liquid at low temperature means it's very unsaturated okay so if you advise your parent to eat fish it's better to eat fish from the sea water from the cold weather not dry catfish em nào em 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 kho món thịt kho tổ mà cá tra em đã thấy Em kho xong rồi cái em bỏ cái miếng kho tủ trong tủ lạnh em sẽ đắp một lớp chất béo cứng ngắt trên bề mặt luôn Có nghĩa là ở trong tủ lạnh nó đã gì? Nó cái tinh à, nhiệt độ Cái tinh của nó nhiệt độ và gọi là điểm nóng chảy của nó là sẽ ở trên nhiệt độ tủ lạnh Nhưng mà nếu em kho con cá hồi em thả vô em không thấy nó cái tinh nhiều đâu Có nghĩa là chất béo cá hồi nó nó rất là unsaturated Nó không có, nó không có cái tinh ở trong tủ lạnh luôn Em có thể thử vậy nè là em bắt con cá tra em thả xuống nước 15 độ C là nó cứng đơ luôn, nó bơi không được Thật ra 15 độ C là là dưới nhiệt độ cái tinh của chất béo nó rồi Nhưng mà em thả con cá hồi dưới 15 độ đó là nhiệt độ nó mong muốn á Ok, lipid oxidation When we talk about lipid, we should also learn a little bit on lipid oxidation The unsaturated fatty acids are more sensitive to oxidation The oxidation leads to the rancid flavor and so on The fish lipid is more sensitive to poultry, to pork, to beef, and to lamb. It's opposite order compared to the other table, if you remember. Because the lipid from here is more saturated, the lipid from here is more unsaturated, so more prone to oxidation. Now we go to cá 